Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today I'm covering the fecal exam. What your veterinarian does with that poop sample when you roll in with it, when you carry it in with a plastic baggie, a beautiful Ziploc bag, or if you're one of those people that put it in like a beautiful piece of Tupperware that you will never get back. Fecal exams are quite commonly done in the veterinary world to check for parasites. Most of our parasites are fecal orally transmitted. This means when the cat or the dog are exploring their world with their mouth and their tongue, they are able to contract a parasite. That's why your veterinarian recommends a poop sample at least yearly, and if it's a puppy, maybe more regularly. When you roll in with that poop sample, your veterinarian is gonna grab it from you and hopefully wash their hands afterwards, but they will grab it from you and they will run it through the fecal exam. The fecal exam is, it's really, really impressive. It take, guys, it takes some giant machinery to run this exam. No, not at all, not at all. So the fecal exam is quite simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that poop sample and put it in a container with sugar water. We're gonna mix it up a little bit, make a beautiful little slurry, and then take a cover slip off of a microscope slide and put it on top. We let it sit for a few minutes, like five to 10, and then as it rises to the surface, the eggs rise to the surface in the sugar water because, why? Because they are less dense. And as they rise to the surface, they come in contact with the microscope slide cover and the eggs and the sugar water residue all sit on that. We take that microscope slide cover off and we put it on a microscope slide and that goes under the microscope. That was a whole bunch of microscopes. We're gonna look under the microscope. We're gonna look for these eggs. There's a reason why they say no parasites observed because this test is not yes or no. This test is can you find anything? A good trained eye, your licensed technicians, your veterinarians, your lab technicians over at those different reference labs, they are excellent scanning for eggs. When an egg is found, we identify it and then we tell the owner what kind of egg it is and what parasite it came from. And based on that, we can then treat the doggy for that parasite. A lot of veterinary clinics, just so you know, do send these samples off to reference labs to get ran. Why do we do that? We do that because it's it's a mess, guys. Running fecal exams can be really messy. And when you leave it all packaged up, and it goes right up to a reference lab, it keeps things clean in the veterinary clinic, and you have you know, a lab technician who is really good at reading fecals, read the fecal. Sometimes certain parasites will not be shedding, guys. They will not be shedding any eggs. In that case, rechecking fecals more regularly to try to find the parasite can be really helpful. Or if we have a positive, rechecking that fecal after the dog is treated is super important too. As always guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope this leveled up your pet knowledge. So when you walk in with that beautiful container full of poop, do not put it in a beautiful container. That's just weird. Put it in a Ziploc baggie and double bag it for me, please. Anyway, when you roll in with that beautiful container full of poop, now you know that veterinarian is just gonna throw in some sugar water and tell me what they see. It's just good to have that knowledge in your back pocket. Thanks for watching guys, I always appreciate it. Please like and subscribe, and you have a great week. Take care.